Good evening everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I've done a grocery haul, but I thought this was a pretty good one. So whenever they kind of come up, I think may as well grab the camera and share it with you because there's a couple of really good meal ideas. And I, like probably many of you are cooking at home more than ever at the moment, particularly because every single time Jazz and I have gone out for like breakfast or dinner or something, it is just insanely expensive and not that it's kind of like to the point of being unaffordable I suppose because we're very fortunate to be in a solid position but it is just really like eye-watering sometimes seeing that like a breakfast might be $90 or something so I thought this weekend we've been going out a little bit lately I'm going to do breakfast lunch and dinner at home the whole weekend long and yeah so I'm just going to get straight into it and the best bit is I am making a recipe I'm going to share with you guys at the end because I'm going to make it for lunch tomorrow and it is tray bake nachos which are the perfect meal they are so easy to make and they're really good for sharing if you're like entertaining but you could also like literally just make them for yourself as a really delicious dinner or lunch as well so anyway let's get into it first things first if you live around my area you may go to the same Woolworths as me and there is a really bougie grocery store next door to that called La Mana and they have really beautiful produce there it's kind of like owned by an Italian family and they own a little coffee shop nearby but their prices are pretty like South Yarra prices, if you know what I mean. They're kind of like, there's probably pockets of areas like that, maybe like Bondi and Sydney and stuff, but it's very expensive. However, they do have a bargains kind of table, which is market sort of prices, like what you'd get on the weekend of any of the excess produce they've got. So I picked up three things from there tonight because they had a couple of good specials. So first one was just a big bag of bananas for $2.50 and I'm literally just going to chop them up and put them in little freezer bags and that will be for my smoothies because the frozen bananas when you buy them in a packet obviously are more expensive. I think they're more like six or seven dollars so that was an instant saving for me. The other thing was a bag of there's five red capsicums in here for four dollars so that was also a massive win because I needed to buy one anyway to use in a stir fry that I'm going to make and Sometimes you can pay that much just for like one capsicum. So that was good. And then the last thing I got was a big bag of mandarins and this cost $2. So yet again, something really great. And I think those three things all together, it was like $8.50 or something. So really, really good saving. Then moving on to Woolworths with my Trader Joe's bag that I got from my sister in America because I'm like obsessed with that store. I actually cannot wait to go there later this year because I really want to go to a Trader Joe's for real and do a little bit of a shop and buy all of like the seasonings and things that you can bring home. But anyway, so for the nachos that I was talking about, I just used these Mission Tortilla Chips. They're the plain yellow corn ones and I think they're the best ones for like scooping things out and then they're not covered in like the cheese and stuff like the normal nachos can be sometimes. I also got some white button mushrooms just to cook up for our breakfast. Jazz is gluten free so I've got this free from gluten seasoned grains bread just the Woolworths brand one. I would normally prefer to get like the Abbott's Bakery um, multi-grain one I think it is something like that. That's kind of been the best one we've found so far. It's kind of a little bit more like a sourdough, but obviously still gluten-free bread. I've kind of swapped to eating that recently just because he's eating it and I can't be bothered buying two loaves of bread. But yeah, if you know a really good gluten-free bread, let me know because I'm still on the hunt to try and find the best one for him. I also got a pack of lemons, which I pretty much have at all times. I'll use them for the nachos to kind of cut up and juice over the top of it. But I also just really like to have lemon water. And that is one of my favorite ways because I really only drink water. I don't drink soft drink or anything like that. So it's kind of a way to like spruce up your boring water. I got some eggs because we're going to use tons of those for breakfast. And the last thing I bought was the good old Just Right cereal. I'm still addicted to this at the moment. It's just like the easy breakfast when I'm not feeling too hungry. Like sometimes if I do a super hard cardio session at the gym, it just feels a bit much to want to come home and have a big breakfast. Whereas if I've done weight, I will definitely have like avo on toast and all of that stuff. But this was on special. It was only $7 for the huge box. So 
that was really good. Now moving on to my other bag. The grand total for this week, by the way, was $165 and that was for everything you're about to see. So I thought that was pretty good because I also did buy a couple of household items like paper towels and things like that as well. So it definitely all adds up, but I think when you're feeding two people, like I said, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and some leftovers as well, it's not too bad. I got three avocados. So some of those are for the nachos and other ones are just for breakfast to have avo toast. I feel like I was never really that like conscious of the avocados between the seasons. This year, I hate the avocados in winter. Like I don't know why it never bothered me before, but it's really bothering me now. They're all pale and gross and it's just driving me nuts. I wish you could just get the really nice avocados all year round. But anyway, first world problems. I also got two bunches of broccolini. So this I'm going to be using in the stir fry that I'm going to make and also, I can't remember why I got the other ones. Stir fry and, oh, and then I'm just doing boring salmon and rice and stuff. So coconut rice to go with the stir fry and then a plain basmati rice to go with just salmon, rice and broccolini, which is a pretty boring but healthy staple meal that I really gravitate towards just to get in some healthy fats. I also got these to snack on. I love this brand. They're just in the health food aisle. They have all sorts of different little, um, it's called Munch Me, I think, and they have all sorts of different little snacks. So these ones are the pumpkin seed and they don't have any dairy, honey, soy, or artificial additives in them, which is pretty good if you have any food allergies. I've also been buying, <laughs> this is so lazy, but it's so handy to just throw into stuff. It's pre-chopped onions because sometimes I'll use them in breakfast, the stir fry, like on the nachos, whatever. And it's just so easy that they're already cut up. So I know I really could just cut them up myself, but as per everybody on earth, I hate cutting onions. Like literally the pain that you go through when they're like making your eyes water is not worth it. So that's one of my new little convenience products. I've also got some corn kernels, so that's going to go on the tray baked nachos as well. But I'll kind of show you all the ingredients again when I cook it tomorrow, just in case you want to give it a go. It's actually the recipe from Elsa's Wholesome Life in one of her cookbooks, which I have both of them on top of my fridge. And I quite often use recipes out of those books because there's so many great ideas in there. But then I kind of like we'll add meat to them if I'm not having like a vegetarian kind of day because I do eat meat, but I love her recipes. Um, I also got some light sour cream. I couldn't find the lactose free version, so I'll just have to eat around that. And then this Mission Chunky Mild Salsa. I would definitely go the extra spicy version, but Jazz cannot handle spice at all. It's actually quite funny if I feed him something, even with like a little bit of chili on it, he just cannot handle it for some reason. So mild it is. I also got a red onion to go with the nachos and some coriander, which is really nice chopped up all over that. That was an idea from the old ordering takeaway from Guzman Gomez kind of days. Cause I used to get their um, like nacho burrito bowl things all the time. And I really, really liked them. So yes, that was back in the days when it was opposite where I was living. I also got a little green juice to have. I'll probably just have this myself tomorrow. Um, I don't think Jazz really cares about this kind of stuff, but it's this one from You Juice, which I have a feeling this might be owned by You Foods, but um, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know, but it's got apple, pineapple, broccoli, cucumber, zucchini, kale, mint, and spinach. Who really cares, but it's a whole bunch of green stuff that I probably wouldn't eat otherwise. So sometimes I like the idea of it being all blended up. Um, this is not my favorite stir fry sauce, but it's an okay one. It's just Passage to Asia brand, the Pad Thai. I actually prefer the Iron brand, but Woolworths doesn't seem to stock it anymore. So if you've seen them anywhere, let me know. But I don't know, maybe it doesn't exist anymore because the last few times I've looked for it, it has not been on the shelf. Um, jalapenos, of course, obviously love this brand. These ones are actually quite nice. It is Sandhurst sliced jalapenos. Um, okay, this is a grandma food. But hear me out. If you are someone who doesn't eat loads of carbs, you possibly don't get enough fiber in your diet. And I also just sometimes feel like my gut isn't quite right because so many things have tra trace amounts, sorry, of lactose in it. So these are my favorite little snack. It's literally pitted prunes. It's like $5, I think, for a bag of these. And even Jazz likes them as snacks. So they're a really good healthy snack, but they're epic for your gut health and just like getting everything moving down there. So you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I also got some 
organic coleslaw and kale slaw, this little kit, which I'm going to put with this pulled chicken. So super easy, lazy salad to make, but I will literally just like stir this through that salad with all of the dressing and that's a really yummy lunch. I also got this satay tofu, which kind of looks like that. And I just chop this up into squares and I also throw it into the stir fry just for a little bit more protein and cause it's really yummy. And then for the beef mince, we've been swapping to grass fed beef just cause it's obviously healthier for you, has no hormones, all of that kind of stuff. So I have just been getting grass fed beef, whether I'm having steaks, meat strips, whatever, like anywhere I can possibly make that substitution, I will. I also got some cashews. So the beef stir fry that I make is beef strips, red capsicum, broccolini, cashews, um, the rice and the stir fry sauce, I think. I'm pretty sure that's it. It's not very many ingredients, but it's just it's healthy, easy, yummy, great. Like really, really good staple meal if you can't think of anything to cook. Um, this has been my savior. I am a bigger cheese stan. I've had bigger cheese. Ever since I was a kid, I used to just eat it anyway, even though it would make me sick. But now they brought out proper lactose-free cheese, which is an absolute godsend. So this has been what I use now all the time on pizzas and like if I'm melting some on pasta or anything. And that is what's going to go on the nachos, which is great because the nachos will then, will they maybe be gluten-free? I'm not really sure because... They'll have lactose-free cheese and then corn chips are gluten-free because it's corn. But I don't know if like the salsa and everything is gluten-free as well, but close enough. Um, salmon, obviously, like I said. And to beef up the nachos, I'm using turkey mince. So if you have someone who might be like, mm, I'm not going to eat nachos because I'll be starving afterwards. I beef them up with turkey mince, which I cook in the pan prior and then sprinkle it throughout just because it would take too long to cook it in the oven and everything else would get burned. But anyway, that will all be in the ingredients for the tray baked nachos tomorrow. So I'll catch up with you guys then. I'm going to put all of this away in the fridge now and cook myself some dinner. So I didn't quite have the type of evening I was anticipating, unfortunately. I ended up making a cup of bone broth and Jazz and I were just sitting there watching TV and all of a sudden I tipped it into a container too quickly out of the kettle the kettle like splashed all of the water back and it has burnt my hand quite badly it's probably like a second degree burn of scalding from the hot water it's a little bit blistered and stuff I'll just put a picture here because I've obviously covered it up now and got some cooling gel and things onto it but yeah, not ideal, not what I wanted to happen. I definitely should have been being more careful and it was beyond painful. I literally had to just keep my hand in a bowl of water pretty much all night. First step, I'm going to cook up the lean turkey mince and I'm just using it in the fry pan with a little bit of the old El Paso crispy chicken spice mix, but they have so many of these, it doesn't really matter which one you use, they all kind of taste the same. So I'm just gonna pop in a little bit of olive oil and then mix all of that up. So while the mince is cooking, I'll show you through my little pile of ingredients because I'm gonna pop a few things on then it goes in the oven and all of the fresh ingredients go on at the end. These are the corn chips I've used. They're just the yellow corn ones from Mission. Then I'm gonna add this Mission Chunky Mild Salsa. This one is good because you can use the whole jar pretty much and just put little dollops of it all around. I've just put on the turkey mince that I cooked up earlier as well and now I'm gonna add some of this which is the Bega Lactose Free Cheese which has been a massive lifesaver because I used to just take lactase tablets but now I can just use this one instead. Second last layer is on now it's just a little bit of red onion and then I'm gonna add this tin of corn kernels and it's good to go just pop it in the oven for 10 minutes at about 180 degrees just grab this out of the oven and now I'm gonna pop on all of those fresh ingredients and then we are good to go this is one of my favorite easy meals to make and it's really delicious also my mum bought me this when she came down for Mother's Day just from Kmart I think it is literally the best thing ever so that's it all done and ready this is the tray bake nachos it's super easy and it's just a hand finger food kind of thing that's really good for sharing if you're entertaining as well I guess you could potentially transfer it to a nicer tray but it does the job and it goes down a treat so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye